What is going on guys, welcome back to the channel for the super quick video and today we'll be talking about defense style. There's a lot of signature animations that we can change on our builds to make it unique on the offensive side, but there's none in terms of defense. At the moment, being a good defender in terms of the actual build itself is more on just how good you are on blocking and stealing and maybe some resistance to cutoffs and the rest is more about skill. Not much variety on the build itself unlike on offense where we got a lot. So I just thought that maybe putting defense style on your signatures will create more variety on defense and put more sense on making a lock build. Now, so how does it work? So basically, it will work like your, for example, dribbling style. But instead of dribbling, it will change your defensive stance when you hold L2 on defense, which you can see visually, but it's not just visuals because there's a lot of variables under the hood that are working for each options. And for the sake of balance, this one here will work like your typical rock, paper, scissor principle which each options will have their strengths and weaknesses. So for example, these are just some rough variables that I thought of. You got the ground covered, which is the actual length of the stance when you hold L2. You got stuff like resistance to cut off, stamina burn, responsiveness on changing directions, response time on steals and challenges, the frequency on getting double team animations, and some other stuff. All these effects won't be that massive, maybe somewhere the same as badges. So all the options that will be available will have those variables. Like for example, Bruiser will attract more cutoffs but the response quickness is not there. You got quick where the response time of the challenges and the actual movement is really quick. But in terms of the cutoff, it's not that strong. You got textbook where everything is balanced and all those other possible combinations that you can think of. And by the way, all these are just my rough ideas. So if you want to chime in some ideas like for example, some option names, feel free to leave it in the comment section down below. Now I might say, oh shoots, this one won't work because we would find the best ones and just abuse it. Well, that could be true, especially now in the information age that no matter what you do, even YouTubers stop making videos about something, information about what's the best option will still be available somewhere else. But it is still possible for the devs to fine tune these options to the extent that the second, third, fourth best option overall will be almost as good as the first option. So players will still try the other ones. That is possible. So that's all for my ideas. Hopefully in some way this can reach the dev so maybe they can still incorporate this or maybe on the next games. So that's all for the video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.